happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. Listen, every once in a while, you're going to get scammed. All right. Uh -huh. how, oh, let's talk about what time. How have you been scammed before? I've been scammed a bunch of times. Oh, I've been scammed for sure. Okay, how so? Um, Mike, to the, the you act like it's the first time you've done a podcast. I'm trying to think. That's why I have to beef up your audio because you do. You, you, blah, 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 and then all of a sudden, ah! And I'm just like, okay, ah! James, James. Yeah. Okay, you're being OCD about it right now. I am because I want the audio to sound good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. I'm trying to think. The time I was scammed. I'm sure I, it'll come to me. I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. So as you know, I'm a big sneaker uh, sneaker head. Um, soul collector. So when I was in high school, I used to barter sneakers. Mm -hmm. Like I worked at Foot Locker, I would get discounts. And like when Jordans came out, like the retros, I would be able to get a discount for them. And I would usually get two pairs. I would call, I would call, I would, it was Rock'em, Stock'em. Rock'em is the pair you got for yourself to wear. And Stock'em was a pair you got to resell. Okay. Right? Can uh, you just like keep both? You could keep both, but okay. then the whole point was to make money and also, you know, look fresh. Um, so I remember one time I, I was on this site called ISS Forums. I, I don't know if it's still around. Oh, Soul Collector. Yeah, they have an, it's not Soul Collector. Huge Instagram account. Oh, my account. gosh, get to it. Are you serious? Dude, relax. Soul Collector. They, blah, 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 blah. I'm literally telling the story. Just, just okay. relax. Okay. So um, there's a function on that site. There's a marketplace where you could sell sneakers, buy sneakers from other people, and you could also trade sneakers. And there's the, um, there's a moderator and all that stuff. So I traded. Um, no, no, no. There was no moderator. This is like when I was in high school. Um, since then, they've gotten a moderator, like a third party where you ship this stuff to, and then they ship it out to make sure no one gets scammed. But I said I was going to trade shoes with this guy. And I sent the shoes, and he didn't send his pair of shoes, and he just ghosted me. And, bro, when I mean, like, these were expensive shoes, like, back in the day, they were expensive, and they had just come out. If you try to, if there were a pair, if anyone, any sneakerheads are listening, it was a pair of Nike SB Heineken Dunk Lows. I was trading for a pair of Nike SB Black Cement Supreme Lows. If those two shoes combined, you know how, guess how much those shoes combined a new pair would be? Two together, pairs. Together? Yeah, two, um, together. Like $6,000. Maybe upward 15 grand? Wow. For each pair, yeah. This makes me sad. Oh, dude, and like at the time, they might have been worth like four or five, four or five hundred, which is still a lot. Yeah. But I, man, it was devastating. I remember it was the address was in Florida, and like this is you know when you're young, you have you don't have money. There's Florida just doesn't exist. You know, it's just a, that's your might be might as well be Uranus. Yeah. And I had these like dreams like going there and finding the guy, and then I just felt so fucked, man. I felt yeah. really sad and down. So what'd you I, learn from it? Did you? Ever I learned never to never. To ship first, or ne like we used, it was odd, like if you were new, I was I was like a veteran on the site, so I had good uh, feedback, and like I I had like like all these badges, um, so I normally was able to finagle people to ship first, yeah. But this time we just shipped same time, mm -hmm. ship same time because I really wanted them. I just lost track, and now what I learned is like you never ship first, and then, um, it's just you know a lot of signs. If, when you never ship first, when you have valuables, never leave them unattended. Don't take any chances like that because the 1% chance it might happen, it's not worth it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's always scarred me. And, uh, man, I was bummed out. And uh, I wish I had, like, a fucking dad that would have, like, oh, take yeah. care of his son it's and go to the guy's door like, and beat the shit out of him. But then, you know, I talked to my dad never. My dad probably, I probably told my dad. I didn't tell my dad because he didn't, he wasn't around. Um, 